duty just keeps on calling. It's Call of Duty, baby. We've got work to do. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top five reasons people hate Call of Duty. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. It's loved by millions and hated by millions. Among the complaints, these are the most frequently discussed reasons why people just seem to despise Call of Duty. Number five, aggressive marketing. Great. How many times have you channel surfed or gone on YouTube and then BAM! There's a Call of Duty ad. Commercials and ad banners appear so frequently that they eventually get really friggin' annoying. Of course, it gets worse once the reviews start rolling in because then it feels like the game is getting every advertising spot imaginable. Oh, and let's not forget the controversy every game comes with. Getting critics, journalists, YouTubers, parents, and politicians talking. How old is the person who's playing it? It's a very well-made game. It'll, it will fly off the shelves. For example, there was the infamous airport massacre scene from Modern Warfare 2. Aggressive marketing just overheights the game, overshadows other great games being released, and has the gaming community complaining about the same problems every year. Number four, underwhelming campaigns. <laughs> Okay, so, in recent years, Call of Duty has fallen short with its single-player campaigns. Modern Warfare 2 was beginning to show the cracks, but the quality really started trickling down from there. I'm sorry, who the hell are you? Hey Activision, you want to give us a good story? Then stop relying on celebrities like Kevin Spacey, ugh, Kit Harington, and Josh Duhamel. It's pointless, nobody cares. Make exciting moments, not impossible ones. Seriously, that train scene from World War II? What the hell was that, dudes? <laughs> And please, don't treat players like idiots. Nothing makes a single player campaign suck more than holding our hands the whole way through. Ramirez, do everything. We will not fail. Number three, other IPs follow its lead. You liar! It's an old business trick we've seen every time a game blows up. The innovator makes millions, which then leads to other developers copycatting the formula. We won't deny that Call of Duty has influenced gaming, mostly for the good, actually, but it's hard getting past this issue. These countries don't have the most basic building blocks to support a democracy. For example, the director of Resident Evil 6 made the game more action-oriented because of how they saw Call of Duty perform. Another game which almost did this was the unreleased Doom 4, which tried replicating a Call of Duty-like experience before it was scrapped and turned into one of the best games ever. SOCOM 4 had the same idea, and, well, we're not talking about SOCOM games anymore, are we? To be honest with you, I'm not happy to see you here. Number two, pricey DLC. Get the season pass now for DLC packs for one great price. There are many games that have questionable pricing with their downloadable content, but Call of Duty is one of the worst when it comes to getting more bang for your buck. $2 for weapon skins? $4 for a new weapon? 15 for four new maps? Why aren't these things, you know, in the game to begin with? Three really key vantage points that players love to fight over. Seriously, just looking at some of these packs makes it seem like, as we all suspect, content was intentionally cut out. If you wanted to cheat us out of our money so bad, you'd implement a loot box system, but, oh wait, you've done that now. Great, good job, good job, good stuff. Number one, same game every year. On whose authority? On my authority! A game can only change so much when new iterations are released annually. Since 2005, we've had a Call of Duty game every freaking year. It's almost 2018! <laughs> the main titles come out every November. Marketing has reported a decrease in sales in the past few years. So, why do you think that is? Simply put, this game is getting friggin' old and people are getting friggin' tired of it. Well done, team. When no exciting or meaningful changes happen in a recycled series with an annual release date, what incentive do players have to buy it? Why pay 60 bucks for the same game you got last November? To try out the new loot box system? I didn't think so. Holy shit. Did that just happen? Can't believe we made it. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.